young entrepreneur, once afraid of heights, wants to build the country's highest wooden structure, a bungee tower in the middle of White Tomo fast farmland. John Hiskett seeking resource consent for the 70 metre high tower. And more, Rowan Quinn reports. John Heskett used to be afraid of heights, but says working at the AJ Hackett Bungie in Queenstown cured that. Now the 26-year-old's out to get others to take the leap in the King Country. To the very top, it's going to sit around 70 metres, but the actual jump platform will be 55 metres. And that's like that's a really cool um, height to jump off. I've done a few bungee jumps in my life, and 55 metres is kind of in the fun zone, you know. It's not super high where it's too high where you're not going to do it and it's uh, not short enough where you're not going to get a rush. John sold his scaffolding business to work full time on the plan. He wants the tower to be wooden to help it stay in keeping with its natural setting and he plans to make the gardens part of the attraction. In an artist's image it looks a bit like an air traffic control tower looming out of the surrounding paddocks with a pool, some bush and buildings at its base. There's a long way to go with millions of dollars of investment needed, but the resource consents are lodged and he wants to make it happen. It's going to be a sculpture. It's, it's, it is amazing. Like The team that's helped me design this, I'm just a kid with the idea. I've had such an amazing team help me design this and I mean what they've produced is just unreal. So once you're driving through Waitomo, it's definitely going to open your eyes and you're, you're going to want to come have a look and maybe jump off it. Waitomo's Mayor Brian Hanna is firmly backing the plan, saying it would be a big deal for the area. The glowworm caves are a huge tourist pool, but very few visitors stay the night. The more economic activity we can generate, the 